Hey everybody, welcome back to the Hobby Lodge. That's right, I'm down here in the corner because I've got something much more important on the table to show you, and that is a reimagination of the icon. There you go, return of an icon tank mouse for the Amiga, or in fact, your actual modern day PC or laptop as well, or anything that can take a Bluetooth mouse essentially. Um, but yes, this is a Kickstarter that I backed well, well over a year ago now, uh, and it has finally arrived. Some people have already been doing openings of this and showing this off, but I thought I'd give you my thoughts on it and just show you what it's all about. So yeah, when it comes through, very simple, as you can see, it is just a, a nice, simple, plain box. You've got some information on the back there about what it was inspired from, and of course, it's pretty obvious. If you think Amiga, you think of the tank mouse. It's a pretty iconic piece of equipment to go along with any Amiga that you may have used. Uh, and yeah, this is someone who's gone away and recreated it in a modern day format. Uh, so let's not jump around. Let's not, let's not muck about. Let's get into it and see what we've got inside. So uh, yeah, I have already used it a little bit um, and I'll give you some more information about that as well. But yeah, nice and simple, good little box, but inside there's no instruction manual or anything like that. You literally just get the mouse. Now the mouse is available in both black and um, white or this kind of off-white the Amiga off-white um, and it's about I think 36 euros on the Kickstarter uh, I don't know if that's also going to be the selling price but you can imagine it's between sort of 35 and 40 pounds uh, which to be honest that's what you'd pay for a tank mouse on eBay these days um, so yeah um, I'll show you what it looks like in comparison to some other uh, versions of this as well um, but yeah this is it this is the tank mouse and it is exactly what you'd expect uh, the additional feature this has that the original one didn't have well first of all it's wireless as you can see and it supports both um uh, bluetooth and also a 2.4 gigahertz um, adapter that adapter is inside here so if you pop off the battery case here as you can see it takes two small uh, batteries uh, and then you've got the if i can drop that out the little usb connector there so you to plug into your laptop or pc and then away you go um, but given most machines these days have bluetooth you can also switch it into its bluetooth mod uh, mode here and connect it straight up uh, the other thing it has that obviously the original Amiga Tank Mouse didn't have is a scroll wheel. Uh, you can't see it. Uh, it is touch sensitive and it is right here. So if you're in a window or whatever it might be, a web page, etc., you can stroke your finger back and forth across here to go up or down as you would do with a scroll mouse, a scroll wheel on any modern mouse. But otherwise, that is it for features. There's no other sort of. Uh, tips or tricks with this it is just the mouse itself um the thing that i didn't pick up and i kind of wish i did because i'm now gonna have to wait uh, is the nine pin dongle for the amiga itself um i thought i did get it but obviously i didn't because it wasn't in the package when i got it uh, and i've checked and unfortunately i didn't click that option uh, so i can't actually connect this to my original amigas at the moment or the cd32 because i don't have that nine pin dongle which then connects to the uh, the uh, adapter in the back here um, but i have used it on my windows pc and it works exactly as you'd expect. As a daily driver, you could absolutely use this. But let's compare it to some other mice. First of all, let's compare it to the, I guess, other latest one, which is the mouse that came in the A500. So if you're not aware, obviously there is a mini console um, of the Amiga 500, and that came with a mouse, and it came with this one right here. So this is a USB mouse, um, which plugs into your A500 mini. You can also use it on your modern day PC as well. Um, and this is where I've already said I'm not a big fan of this mouse, and this is why. Uh, if this is a replica of this mouse, the first thing you're gonna notice is it is much smaller in both width and length, uh, and it just is the wrong color. Uh, it's just, I'm not a big fan of this mouse. Uh, it works perfectly fine. It is uh, obviously a standard sort of laser based mouse, um, but I would immediately pick the deck, this, this kind of reimagining of the tank mouse over it purely down to how it fits in the hand. Now, obviously, if you've got small hands, you might actually prefer this one. But for me, if I wanted to have the, the real genuine feel of what the tank mouse was like, then this one 
this one fits to this is the one this this one is a lot better look and feel than, than the one that came with the a500 i don't know why they did this i understand the a500 had to be miniaturized because it is a mini console but surely the peripherals the gamepad and the mouse could have been original sized um the cd32 pad that comes with this is also much smaller doesn't feel anything like an original pad and this mouse is much smaller and doesn't feel like an original tank mouse so let's get rid of this now we have an actual original tank mouse from an amiga and let's see how these two compare so let's first of all go with the size perfect yeah absolutely let's go with the width perfect it is exactly the same go with the color well this one's a little bit discolored anyway um but pretty much on on the money with colorization as well obviously i don't have the big old lead sticking out the front weight wise i mean this is much heavier not much heavier i'm going to say a little bit heavier i haven't weighed them exactly but a little bit heavier but then again it has got a, a hunking great big um ball inside of it which adds significantly to, to the weight of the mouse itself um the only difference i can see between between these and i don't know if you can see it already um actually on the camera it's quite obvious to me uh, is the buttons now the buttons on the original mouse are much wider uh, they are like for me they are the actual width of my fingers uh, and yeah a bit more pronounced than the other ones and on here they are a lot thinner and you do feel that when you're using the mouse um i much prefer the width of these buttons now of course there's an obvious answer to why that's the case and that's because this mouse does not have a touch scroll obviously it wouldn't have done sort of thing wasn't thought about back in those days and this one does that space in the middle there is making up for that touch enabled scroll wheel on the mouse itself um in the hand I do prefer the the original tank mouse because of the size and width of the buttons, but I absolutely could get used to the slightly smaller and the fact that it's wireless and it has a scroll. Those are some sacrifices. Uh, sorry, the buttons width is a sacrifice maybe I'm willing to make for the fact that I have a touch sensitive scroll and no cord on the mouse itself. So uh, yeah, that's um, that's it. I mean, I've been using this uh, as sort of a, an everyday mouse. Works brilliantly, no problems at all. Not had any issues in Windows or on Mac, um, but I have yet to use it on the Amiga. So maybe I'll do a, a short update or something on this at some point to uh, sort of talk about what it's like when it's connected up to the Amiga once I get it. Um, I have been told, I have read that the scroll will work on a workbench. So if you're scrolling around the windows and stuff, you'll be able to, be able to use this. And otherwise it's, it's it's, it's good to go um but yeah at the moment i'll keep using this on my amiga uh, and when i can i will switch over to this because it will be really handy and uh, yeah that is the tank mouse you can go and check it out yourself at i think it's tankmouse.com i think let me have a look there's a website on here yeah look there you go www.tankmouse.com just there if i bring that into focus uh loads of different bits about it you can see their resolution and all the rest of it but uh that's all this video was for, for me to show you the new reimagined tank mouse and compare it to what we had before. Uh, for me, it is an icon. This, this is, this is when you think Amiga, this is the mouse you think of. I know the 1200 came with, you know, this is the later version. This may be some people's mouse of choice for the Amiga. Um, but for me, I think of, I think of these. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, Hey, maybe give it a thumbs up, etc. Um, and uh, let me know if you also picked yourself up one of these from the Kickstarter, or if you're maybe planning to. Maybe you're going to go for the the sleeker black model. Um, but yeah, there we go. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.